something wrong with Wayne. You've been doing this for days, but it's not all bad news. You donate one pound a month to Clever Cracker Squared. We can stop Wayne from doing this and making him not so dizzy by just stopping him as he turns around like this. Thanks guys, that'd be useful. That'd be good. Love McDonald's. So, so now we're on to some circular stuff. Yeah. Uh, and in particular, a new a new measurement of angles. Yes, yeah, so before we always used degrees, but they're not actually that accurate or make as much sense. No, it's 360 degrees in a circle. But why? Why? Yeah. So there's another unit of measurement. There's actually another two. We don't do radians because they're no, silly. They are silly. We use radians instead. Now these are quite nice. They're called, they're well defined, aren't they? Wayne? Yes, that's why they're they're actually a standard international unit of measurement of angle mm -hmm. in the book. It says. Yeah. So. First we look at a sector. Yeah. What we have drawn in the corner is a seven inch would a bit bigger. Yeah. So for in this sector, the radius yep. will be equal to the length of the circumference, this bit. Yeah. So it's bars. not a displacement, it's not a long here. Yeah. It's actually all the actual way length of the sector. And we can call that when that is true, the angle between them is one radian. One rad for short. Yeah. And that's how a one radian is defined. So Which now we can already at, makes more sense. Yeah. So now we can look at how many radians would be in a circle. Yeah. And it is two pi radians will be in a yeah. full circle. But there's also a good reason why. So you look at a full circle. I'll draw another one over here. All right. Annotate it more. Around the edge, you've got your circumference all the way around yeah. the circle. But if you split that into r, so they want to get into radians. Yeah. We're going to have a bunch of r radiuses around yeah. the side because the radius is only going to take up so much. There's going to be a bunch of them around the side. There is. So but first, let's express the circumference in terms of radius. Yeah. So it's um, two pi pi d or yeah. two pi r. Yeah. So two pi r would be the circumference around the circle. Yeah. And to find out if if, if one radius is one rad, yeah. then how many radiuses there are around the entire circle will be how many rad there are. Yeah. So if you divide the circumference by the number of radiuses, because that will find how many there is. Yeah. You'll notice something. You'll notice that these two R's will cancel. Which is why. With that many. In one circle, which is very handy indeed. It is. So to get from degrees to radians, there's two ways. There's two ways. The easiest way is to change your calculator from degrees into radians. It'll be in your setup. Yeah. So if you can learn how to do that, that would be great. That's that would advise a scientific or graphic calculator in your exam. But if you can't do that for some reason and you're panicking, you're going, oh, I don't need to get it from degrees to radians, there is a conversion. There is. So if you start with degrees, say you have, well, let's, let's say theta degrees. Yeah, so you've anyway, got an amount, amount of, degrees. of degrees. Yeah. You can convert it into radians by first dividing it by 180, then timesing it by pi. Equally, you can do the reverse by just doing the reverse. Yeah, so if you had, let's say, I'll just call it rad for but you've got an amount of radians. Yeah. I don't know how many. Then you just do the reverse, so you times it by 180, and then divide by pi. So you divide the whole of that by pi, so you do that first. This should really should be in brackets just to be clear what we're saying. Yeah. And that will be your conversions from one to the other. So that's just in case you don't know where your setup button is or forgot your calculator or it ran out of batteries or you find this easier whatever whatever yeah and uh so you can do that this is just an introduction to a new way to do degrees it's quite a short video yep so now we're going to using it in stuff like circular motion so let's, let's do that see you there all right